Not all of you need to go through cut and bulk cycles in order to make progress towards your body composition goals. There is a middle ground, it is called body recomposition. This is where you lose fat and you build muscle at the same time. This video, I'm going to explain a simple way you can tell whether body recomposition will work for you or not, because obviously it's not going to be optimal for all of you, but a lot of you have potential to recomp and I think that would actually be a much better goal for you to start with than cutting or bulking. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodie and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health and your life. I like to talk with my hands but I'm going to try and like hide my finger in this video because I cut it the other day really bad and I had to go to the hospital and get like it all taped up nicely so it would stay together and stop bleeding. It was so gross. Anyway, this video I'm talking about body recomposition. This is where you lose fat and you build muscle at the same time. A lot of people will tell you that this is only possible for beginners or if you're skinny fat or maybe if you've had a big break from training and you're coming back to training. Now these cases are true. I would definitely choose body recomposition as your goal if you are skinny fat, if you've had a break from training and you're getting back into things or if you're a beginner to the gym. Any client that comes to me that has about five kilograms or less of weight to lose, I also recommend body recomposition as a starting goal to have. That means they don't really choose to cut or bulk at the start. They stay eating around maintenance calorie intake and focus on getting really strong in the gym. Now, a lot of people will also say body recomposition is very slow and it is true, but so is going through a bulk cycle, gaining some body fat as well as muscle, and then having to go through a cut to lose the body fat. I believe a lot of you would make better progress long term if you actually started off body recomping and then went to cut and bulk cycles later when it was actually more appropriate for you. Now, a big mistake a lot of you make is not understanding you're actually a beginner just because you think you've been training in the gym for a long time. Training age or how long you've been working out for has nothing to do with whether you count as a beginner or not. When it comes to body recomposition, the best way to tell whether you qualify as a beginner or not and whether you can lose fat and build muscle or not is to assess your strength. You can look up strength standards online and if you are a beginner or a novice in the strength standards, if you're not yet an intermediate or advanced, you still have a lot of room to go through body recomposition that is to lose fat and build muscle at the same time. So that means if you are skinny fat, if you're a beginner, if you've had a break from training and you're coming back to training, you can recomp. But in all these cases, the reason they can recomp and have potential to recomp is because they haven't reached their strength potential yet. They're not yet an intermediate or advanced according to the strength standards. So if you have been working out for two years already following a structured program, but you can't yet squat your body weight or you can't deadlift over your body weight, you still count as a beginner in the gym. And that means you can lose fat and build muscle at the same time. If you want more information on how I would go about setting this up in terms of your nutrition and your training, I have an article on my website that I'm gonna link in the description box. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me an email as well. I love body recomposition as a goal. I think it's really rewarding and a lot of you would be better off spending your time there at the start than what you would trying to cut or trying to bulk. That is all for this video. I hope it helped you. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any topics you would like to see addressed on my channel, please feel free to comment below as well. And I will see you in the next video.